Delivering quality education. Expanding access to learning. The official TV-based instruction of Tagum City. This is Tagum City Division's Deaf and TV Banner. Theater and life do odd things in public. Hang with weird people randomly break into song. Good day, grade 10 students. Welcome to another episode of Salida La Filipina TV where you will acquire new information about theater arts. I am your teacher on screen, teacher Rodara J. Segundo from La Filipina National High School. Let us take this exciting journey as we discover the world of theater arts particularly the Philippine theater and performing groups. Join me and together, let us learn from the heart through arts. Before we begin, I want you to have your paper and pen so that you can take salient points for our topic today. Now, are you ready students? All right! In this session, our lesson objectives are First, analyze the uniqueness of the group that was given recognition for its performance Second, give value and appreciate the efforts and contributions of theater groups who made a great impact to the Philippine theater And third, create a storyline based on the elements of arts applied in a given theater play performance these three objectives will lead to our most essential learning competency, which is Analyze the example of plays based on the theatrical forms and elements of art as applied to performance. To begin, let us have our pre-assessment to check your prior knowledge about our lesson for today. On the screen, you will see pictures of different Philippine theater and performing groups. All you have to do is to determine the group that is related to the picture. You will be given 30 seconds to identify each picture. And when you hear this sound, that means your time is up. All right. Are you all set? Let's begin! is up let's reveal the answers picture number one is the performing group called philippine educational theater association or peta picture number two 
is an adaptation of London West End and Broadway. The group is called Repertory Philippines. Picture number three is a value-oriented performing group called Trumpets. Picture number four is known for its classical music and performance. The name of the group is Philippine Opera Company. And the last picture is Tanghalang Filipino, which is under the umbrella of Cultural Center of the Philippines. How's your score, students? Were you able to write and identify the different Philippine theater and performing group? If you did, congratulations! If you didn't, well, that's fine. Just pay attention as we go through our discussion. To motivate you about theater arts, let's do an activity. Picture puzzles of known theatrical artists in the Philippines will be shown on the screen. All you need to do is to recognize the face of that certain artist through the missing parts and clues. Let us try to see if you are good in picture analysis activity. You will be given 5 seconds to write your answer in your notebook. When you hear this buzzer, your time is up. Are you ready? Let's begin. Picture number one. Dubbed as the OPM Showbiz Royalty of the Philippines, a songwriter, actress, dancer, model, musical theater performer, entrepreneur, and the Showtime TV host. Your time starts now. Time is up. Let's reveal the answer. The artist in the picture is Kareel. Picture number two. Best known for playing the role of Antonio Luna in the historical drama film General Luna and Renato Hipolito in the action drama television series FPJ's Ang Provenciano. Your time starts now. Time is up! Let's reveal the answer. The actor in the picture is John Arcelia. Picture number three. A Philippine singer and actress, best known for a role as a Kim in musical theater entitled Miss Saigon and supplying the singing of Jasmine and Mulan in Disney Princesses and a coach in The Voice of Philippines. Your time starts now! Time is up! Let's reveal the answer! The artist in the picture is Leia Salonga. Did you guess all the pictures correctly? Very good! Now, are they familiar to you? Yes! Those artists mentioned a while ago are seen on the television most of the time and some of them started their acting career in theater. Each of them belongs to a certain group in Philippine theater that hones their acting prowess. So now, you will learn more about theater arts, particularly the Philippine theater and performing groups. Interesting, right? Hearing Seeing and enjoying outstanding performing talents from drama and musical to dance can give anyone the thrill of a lifetime. That exciting moments after the house lights are dimmed and just before the curtain rises as you wait to catch your first glimpse of the world behind the footlights 
is unlikely any other experience. In the Philippines, the formation of several theater groups is a fortunate development for people interested in theater arts. This development has helped considerably to keep the legitimate stage alive and strong. Many of these theater groups have known into commercial enterprises mainly for the benefit of large audiences. They draw their acting and production personnel from well-trained or experienced cast with their productions of period, classical, and contemporary plays. All over the Philippines, these groups are a vital cultural force. They have been organized to maintain standards of production, assist with various challenges, and build cooperation among similar groups throughout the country. Funded through a mix of public and private money, some of these theater groups are the following. First, Philippine Educational Theater Association or PETA, established by Cecil Guidotti Alvarez in 1967, and Tanghalang Pilipino, the resident theater company of the Cultural Center of the Philippines, founded in 1987, are the forefront of this. This group's work range from daring new interpretation of classical works to spectacles based on Philippine myths and legends to social and political commentary. Here is an example video of Peta's theatrical play entitled Pamana. Second, Tanghalang Pilipino. Organized in 1987, Tanghalang Pilipino is another leading exponent of Philippine theater founded by Felix Nonan Padilla, artistic director. Working under the umbrella of Cultural Center of the Philippines, Tanghalang Pilipino is known for its production of original Filipino plays. Its effort to develop and train Filipino actors, playwrights, and designers through the stage plays from Philippine past and, at times, plays from other countries that were translated or adopted to Filipino setting is part of Tanghalang Pilipino's mandate to educate and awaken the cultural consciousness of the Filipino audience. Watch this Tanghalang Pilipino theater play entitled Noli. Third, Repertory Philippines. 
Filipino theater director Zinaida Amador realized her dream of introducing the best of Broadway and London's West End to Filipino audiences in 1967. Amador co-founded Repertory Philippines with actress Baby Barredo, a company that not only performed English language plays and musical year-round, but also trained actors and actresses. This vision is still carried out by the organization today. Leia Salonga, a multi-award winning theater actress and singer, started her career as a child lead in Repertory Philippines Productions. She went on to become an international stage sensation in the lead role of Kim in Miss Saigon, placing the Philippines on the map as a theater powerhouse. Here is a video clip performed by the Repertory Philippines. In the 1990s, the Philippine theater company Trumpets is the Asia's first professional gospel theater group and is known for wholesome family entertainment musical such as The Little Mermaid, Joseph the Dreamer, and The Bluebird. Trumpet's goal is to provide positive theater experiences for Filipino youth while also expanding the Philippine theater-going public. Values such as honesty and integrity were part of the story that will develop in one's character. Let's watch a short clip of The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe by The Trumpets. Opera Company. It was established in 1999 by a group of committed classically trained singers led by artistic director Carla Gutierrez. The Philippine Opera Company aims to cultivate both performers and audiences for both international and Filipino classical music performances. Now, be amazed by the vocals of Philippine Opera Company's performance in Harana. At this point, 
let us try to see if you understand the basic concepts of Philippine theater groups. Let us have this activity. Supply the table with correct information about the name of the theater and performing group, year established and founded, and the founder or the creator. Write your answer in any sheet of paper. I will give you 60 seconds. And when you hear this buzzer, that means your time is up. Are you ready? Let's start! Time's up! Let's see if you got it all right! Congratulations! You did very well in our activity! This means that you understood the basic concepts of Philippine theater groups. Let's do the recap. Let's recall the different sets of five Philippine groups based on the elements of theater. For PETA, the script and visual aspects focus on social and political awareness. For Tanghalang Pilipino, its play focus on education and cultural consciousness among Filipino audiences. Generally, its topic is in Philippine setting. In Repertory Philippines, the director Zinaida Amador realized her dream of introducing the best of Broadway and London's West End to Filipino audiences. It staged not only English language plays and musicals, but trained actors and actresses as well to perform world class. In Trumpets, the visual aspects plays a significant element in the theater play since the main audience of the presentation are children. Elaborate props and costumes give attraction to add excitement in the story. Lastly, Philippine Opera Company. Develop performers as well as audiences for both international and Filipino classical music performances. The only opera company in the country that produces regular opera productions which involved intense emotional music. All right, this time. Let us check how much you learned from the discussion. This is a multiple type of test. Choose the letter of your answer and write it on a separate sheet of paper. You will be given 5 seconds to answer. And when you hear this sound, then time is up. Let's have the first question. Lea Salonga 
began her career as a child lead in productions. She went on to become an international stage superstar in the lead role of Kim in Miss Saigon. In what Philippine theater and performing group did Lea Salonga start to perform? A. Peta B. Trumpets C. Repertory Philippines D. Philippine Opera Company Your time starts now! Your time is up! Let's reveal the answer! Leia started her acting career in Repertory Philippines. The correct answer is letter C. Number 2. The Philippine Opera Company was established in 1999 by a group of committed classically trained singers. Who is the artistic directress that led the group? A. Carla Gutierrez B. Zinaida Amador C. Felix Nono Padilla D. Cecil Guidotti Alvarez Your time starts now! Your time is up! The correct answer is letter A. Carla Gutierrez Number 3 Describe the theater form of PETA performing group. A. It develops performers as well as audiences for classical music performances, both foreign and Filipino. B. It is associated with English language plays and musicals, as well as trained actors and actresses. C. Mounting grad productions of originally written musicals with a slant towards good values for children and the whole family. D. It cultivates modern perspective in Philippine art and society and moves toward issue-based theater and helps bring about social and political awareness. Your time starts now! Time is up! The correct answer is letter D. Number 4. Which of the theater play is not performed by Tanghalang Pilipino? A. Nolly B. Walang Sugat C. Ibalong Musical D. Lay Maserab Your time starts now! is up. The correct answer is letter D, Lame is Rough, because it was performed by Repertory Philippines. Number 5. What element in theater play is evident in the performance of trumpets that gives excitement to the audience? A. Space B. Script C. Director D. Visual Aspect Your time starts now! Time is up! The correct answer is letter D. Visual Aspect The intention of trumpets is to provide wholesome for Filipino youth using elaborated props and costumes. How is your score? Great! I believe you did well in answering the questions. Now, I want you to tap your shoulder and say, Good job, self! For your assignment, search this link on YouTube. 
This is a dance performance showcased by Lady Dance Theatre. What you're going to do is, in a sheet of paper, describe the main storyline based on the elements of theater applied in the performance and write your personal reaction. Include this in your written output as part of your performance base. Submit this during the schedule of retrieval. That concludes our lesson for today. I hope you learned something from our discussion. Let me leave you with this quote from Yasmina Reza. Theater is a mirror, a sharp reflection of society. See you in our next art-inspiring episode only here at Salida La Filipina TV. I am your teacher broadcaster, Teacher Radara. Have a nice day! Salida la Filipina ay bigyan daan Ito ay magbibigay na kaalaman TV naman ngayon ang inyong paaralan Makirap man ang inyong sitwasyon Tayo ay magtulungan para sa edukasyon Bawat isa ay mayroong misyon Matutong mabuti maging inspirasyon Salida la Filipina Ang inyong pangarap ay tiksa Salida la Filipina